Hey everyone, welcome to the new channel. For those of you that are just joining me, I appreciate you coming over to check out Life with Gold Girl. That's me, Marnie. And I know I asked you for things that you'd like to see on this channel, but I'm gonna start with something that I feel really passionately about and, and is in a way connected to everything else that I do and probably that you do, and that's money. Um, all these things that we talk about, how to do this, that, and the other thing are great, but if you can't buy it or budget for it, then you really can't do any of these things. And the reason, I'm sorry, Mimi's here and she just brought me a piece of my son's Nerf basketball. The bigger question is, where is the rest of it? Sorry. Okay. Anyway, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how my family manages money and to give you a little background um, without divulging too much personal information I grew up very basic middle-class family um, didn't didn't have a lot didn't I wasn't we weren't poor but um, we didn't go out to dinner much um, didn't take family vacations except to go to see my grandma and stay at her house in California. So very normal um, upbringing, I would think. Wasn't used to just going out and getting whatever I wanted. Then when I got married, uh, my husband was an officer in the Air Force, so still not a lot of money. <laughs> um, they pay better now, I think, but back when he was in, not so much. And we were lucky to have two incomes for a little bit because I was a teacher, but uh, for those of you that are familiar with public school teacher salaries, still not a lot of money and then after only about I guess a year of marriage I stayed at home to raise our son so I am very much used to figuring out how to work with a limited amount of money and make it work and as my husband has advanced in his career and we've gotten older and different things have happened um, I, I definitely have more salary to play around with but um, I still at heart am a frugal girl and no matter how much I have available to me I still can never just go out and go crazy shopping. So um, I guess that's just all those years of having to watch every penny I've spent. And I think in the long run, I go to sleep at night and I wake up stressed, but the one thing I don't stress about is money. And I think it's, and I know it's because of the way that um, we've set up our life. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I do this. And what's funny is my husband and I have been doing this for years, long before we'd ever heard of some guy named Dave Ramsey. But for those of you that don't know who he is, um, a lot of what I'm saying is very similar to what he preaches and teaches. So, and he does it so much better than I do, which is why he's a, like a, a mega mogul talk show guy and I'm just a girl on YouTube. But um, I will put a link to his website below and he's written a lot of books and stuff and they are quite helpful and he has a radio show, all kinds of stuff. So if you want a much better way of, exp of hearing how this works, go check out Dave Ramsey. But this is the Marnie version of this. It's all about planning. I don't care how much money you have coming in. We've all heard about those lottery people. They win tens of millions of dollars and they blow it and they're bankrupt within a few years. And it's because they don't plan. So I'm gonna tell you how we started from day one and the only thing that's changed is the amount that we budget. You really need to be aware of and if money stuff is boring to you, then just turn this off and come back when I do a video about um, something that interests you. I, I won't be offended. You need to know how much money is coming in before you start putting money out. So um, if, you, if you are married or are with a partner, you need to be able to communicate about everybody's income. If this is an issue, that's a whole nother video. But um, this is a team effort. It's not his money and my money. It's, it's our money. All the money is, is, if it's just you by yourself, it makes it easier. You don't have to have a discussion about this. But you need to know how much money is coming into the house after taxes. I don't care what your gross income is. Nobody ever gets to see that. Thank you, government. So write down, get out a piece of paper, big piece of paper, and write down at the top how much comes in every month. Net monthly income. And then you need to start writing down the expenses that you have every month, no matter what. The stuff that really doesn't change. Mortgage, house payment, rent, that's always the same. Homeowner's insurance. I'm just going to start listing categories. This may or may not apply to you. Um, health insurance, premiums, those might automatically be taken out of your paycheck, though, so that might not be an issue. Any monthly reoccurring expense that is pretty much set. You can even go so far, look at your utility bills. Um, look at the past year you can average about how much is going to be coming out write that all down on a monthly basis utilities um 
like I said, insurance, car insurance, even though it's probably a bi-yearly payment, divide it by 12 so you know exactly how much to cover for every month. We have it down pat. So when my husband's direct deposit goes into our bank account, we have it automatically set up. So every everything that we spend recurringly automatically gets taken out and put into another account. They don't charge you to open bank accounts. You can open up as many bank accounts as you want. So we have a bank account for monthly expenses. We have a bank account for annual expenses, things you only pay once a year. We have an a bank account for biannual, um, like property taxes, car insurance, car insurance premium, stuff like that. Um, when you know exactly how much is leaving that you have no control over, the stuff you have to pay, then you get an idea of what's left per month. And it might make you nauseous or you might be pleasantly surprised. Now that you have this sum of money, the sum of money that doesn't cover the utilities, you know, you've already taken account utilities and rent and insurance and car payments and things like that. Now we need to eat. So you need to come up with a budget about how much you want to spend per week on groceries. I'm going to give you a number that we spend. We're family of four. We do eat out a lot. So, um, I budget more for eating out, but we budget about $150 a week for groceries. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more, but I've noticed over the years that on average, I'm spending about $150. I'm gonna do a whole another video on going to the grocery store, but that may seem high for you or low, I'm not sure, but that's what works for a family and, and we're good. Um, so that comes out of the budget. Then you take into account, okay, we like to go out to eat. We want to go out twice a week. We're going to figure it's going to be about 40 bucks for dinner for a family of four. 40 to 50 bucks is about what we spend. Tops. Tops. Um, sometimes going out to dinner means Subway, so then we're looking at 15 bucks, but whatever. It always estimate high so that if it's less than that, then that just goes back into savings. So now you can kind of, oh, I forgot savings, at least 10%. 20% is better, take right off the top and put it away. If you never had it to begin with, then you're not going to miss it. Um, sorry, new clock, I'm getting used to that. Anyway, um, I know I'm throwing a lot at you. I know there's a lot of information. This isn't my best video, but I think the key here is you have to plan. You have to write this stuff out on paper. If you have to see how much money you really have to work with, and you'd be surprised um, how easy it is then to start actually spending money um, without worrying because you know that you have it. If there's a high-end item that you want to have um, or a trip you want to plan, budget for it. Start planning a year in advance. Start knowing that this much is going to come out of your savings every month towards that goal, whatever it is. Um, I cannot tell you what a difference this has made in our lives. Just knowing it on paper. I used to be the kind of girl who like a short span of time when I was working and not married where um, I felt like I could be as irresponsible as I wanted and I'd walk into Nordstrom and you know whip out that credit card and buy all the Trish McAvoy brushes and you know do all that crazy stuff and I and I get the bill how many times has this happened to you you get the credit card bill and you're like wow I spent that much it's because you're not paying attention you're not writing it down you're not walking in I should have what I should have been doing is saying okay I've set aside all my expensive money this is what I have to play with. I am not going to spend more than this amount on this shopping trip. And that would have been fine. And I would have had a great time. And I still would have been able to get some stuff. Um, so that is my how to budget in a nutshell. And obviously, depending on your income, the numbers will change. So that's why I don't want to really throw out a lot of numbers at you. Um, you know, you might be saving for college. You might not even be married yet. You might be a teenager with your first job. The principles are still the same write it down every month make out a budget write down your expenses write down your income and i think the more educated you are about what is going on in your life the better decisions you will make as you go through your financial life so that is my quick this is awful i'm sorry i should probably edit this out but i'm just it's a it's a subject i really feel passionately about that in all aspects of life, the more educated and aware you are of the situation, the better you'll do. It's sort of like that Oprah quote, I think she's quoting Maya Angelou, when you know better, you do better. And I really think that that just encompasses every aspect of your life and it helps with money as well. So 
If you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask. I don't know that I'll know the answer, especially if it's specific to very technical financial things. I'm not, I'm not up on that. I, I will be the first to admit I don't, I don't get most of it. But if it's simple income outcome, I can help with that. Um, direct message me if you don't feel comfortable leaving in a comment. I'm just trying to share my life experience with you and tell you what's worked for me. Hopefully, it could work for you. So. That's it. Thank you for watching. I promise we'll talk about more fun topics in the next video and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.